we worry about diseases outside. We should be more worried about diseases in the mind. Greed, aversion, and delusion. These can kill your goodness. And your goodness is a lot more important than your body. So this is why we come to meditate. It's medicine for our diseases. You stay with the breath and it feels comfortable, it feels good inside. And then you think of all the things you might want to go for in the world outside. And you realize that the pleasure that they give is, is very fleeting compared to this. And often it has its drawbacks. So you take this medicine rather than going for the disease. As for anger, there's a sense of power that comes with anger. Well, you can develop power of the mind inside with the concentration without having to deal with anger. As for delusion, the problem with delusion is you don't know you're sick. Things that look right to you look right to you. That's, that's the way they are, that you feel. Things that look wrong look wrong. And the thing is, maybe you're looking in the wrong way. So the meditation gives you a place to stand outside of your normal thoughts and look at them from the outside. It gives you a better perspective. So it's medicine for these diseases. And it's a medicine you should take every day. The Buddha lays out the, the basic principles for the, the, the tonic. Now you're going to have to apply them in your own case for the particulars of your disease. But it's that basic principle. The principle of old-fashioned medicine. You go to the doctor and the doctor tells you the medicines that you have to go find for yourself. And they give you instructions on how to mix them and how to take them. There's no Dharma shot, no Dharma vaccine. You have to find the leaves and the twigs. But remember what the Buddha said about leaves and twigs. They can form a raft that take you, takes you across the river. So you take the Buddha's instructions and you put them into practice, and then you adjust things so it's just right for your particular disease at this particular time. And you realize that you're doing this not only for yourself, but also for others. You don't transmit greed, aversion, and delusion when you don't give rise to them in your mind. Or at least when you give rise to them, but then you learn how to keep them in check. That means you're not sending them out into the world. Other people don't pick it up from you. They may have their own diseases. Of course, everybody born has, it, has their diseases. But at least you're not making it worse. I mean, this pandemic has been with us for a long time since well before the Buddha. And so we have to learn how not to get frightened and how not to get upset. Just realizing that we have our diseases, but we can have the medicine. We're so much better off than people who don't have the right medicine. But having the medicine is one thing. Taking it is another thing. Make sure you take it every day, every day. It's one thing to know the Dharma, but another thing to actually practice it. And that's when you see the value of the medicine. It's like those old recipes for medicine that nobody tries. After all, it just becomes an old piece of paper. It gets in the way, you throw it out. Because nobody's tried the medicine to see if it works. But if you try it, you find that it works. Okay, then you keep that recipe as something treasured. So give the Buddha's medicine a try. And you find it really is worth treasuring. This is why it's been passed down for all these centuries. It's medicine that works. <laughs>